Hey, we got a really good crowd for Saturday. It's supposed to be a booming day. Four guys from Avenal flew down here to Warner Springs yesterday. They're trying to fly back today. Uh, the rest of us aren't going to go that far, but we'll, uh, we're hoping for some good, good flying today. Tops of thermals maybe as high as 15,000 feet. I think we've got 18 gliders out today, which is really great. So let's see how we do. Well, I had a little bit of a tough time as uh, we're ambling for our initial climb. I think I got something good here behind Hot Springs. Coming through about 7,000 now. Averaging about four and a half knots. So everybody else is higher. So I gotta catch up to them. All right, just topped out of the first thermal, and that's a 11.7. Looks like a nice crew on Cloud Street. Heading for uh, San Jacinto and then San Gregorio. It's uh, Rami down there in Tango Golf. He's a good guy to follow. He's going to Avenal. Or Hollister. Uh, going far. Got to figure out the line across there. Now it's all about gaining some altitude. Playing up to 13.3, going to be 13.3 for the crossing over to San Gregorio. The uh, clouds to the west are below me. And we're going to shoot for these well formed clouds on the east side. Be a little bit better. There's a little, little wisp right ahead, that's a good sign. I'll use that. Palm Springs back behind me. And San Gregorio ahead. Eleven miles from San Gregorio. Chuck and Keith are ahead by about six miles. We've got to climb ahead here and see if I can find that when I get there. Over Lake Arrowhead, the Hoon Pass, I 15, this little gap in the mountain is right ahead. A few other gliders ahead of me. Well, one of these is Mount Baldy, I'm not sure which one. Crystal, I'd like to go about 27 miles that way. Let's hope this cloud turns into something good. Coming through 12,500 now with Tango Golf and seven in the same thermal here. Nice look down at Mount Baldy. Nice to be near the clouds. Rolling out at 12,700. 
Off we go. Right out there is Palmdale, and uh, right down here is uh, Crystal. That's kind of my goal for the day. There's Crystal down there. Turn Crystal. Now to navigate back. See if I can retrace my steps, find a good lift along the way. Right on my way back now, 11.7. Got a good glide ratio, that nice flat bottom cloud ahead is where I'm headed. Got a little shadow there, so it shouldn't be too far away. And that's going to be on the hook to climb there and continue my path home. You can see Borneo in the distance and San Jacinto to the right way beyond that. climb out of this one. Back up to 12.7 right now, so time to move on. About to cross the Cajon Pass again. I have 15. It's a nice drive on the other side. Keep forcing it. Alright, getting a nice climb over Lake Arrowhead. I think we're averaging about six or seven knots. Big Bear Lake out there in San Gregorio. Coming to 11 There's a nice tide forming above me. Okay, up to uh, 13,000 now. Uh, starting the weekend, so let's move on. We'll find some cloud shadows ahead. Head for those. It looks like right about where I got my climb on the way out as well. Come in the San Gregorio area. Big bear off the left. And I need to find some time to get over the hills here, so. Got some clouds ahead that look okay. Fingers crossed. On the Tinto ahead is the Borneo. I'd like to be a little higher than I am right now. And we've got some good looking clouds ahead. Hopefully they'll provide the way to do that. Now the Banning Pass. 
The hotel whiskey pulled ahead of me a little bit. Watch out here. Come spring. Annie. Attention to climb on Mount San Jacinto here, but it's very bumpy and very erratic. Not a great thermal. Well, the clouds look promising. I climbed about 700 feet on it, so hopefully it'll get better as it get higher. Okay, there's Sam Jack finally at the top of that. Only sprint ahead about 30 miles. Let's see if we can find a line through these clouds. They get a nice line of lift here. As it progress ahead, I see these nice flat bottom clouds kind of ahead and to the left, and the more ragged clouds a little bit lower and to the right. So I think the convergence line should be just under the flat bottom clouds here and avoid the, uh, the ragged ones. We'll see. Okay, I just come up to Warner Springs now. Only takes 11 to 1 to get to there. Nice line of clouds down toward the border. 8,600 feet, I'd like to climb a little bit and follow that cloud line and see how that works out. Right tight showing. I should be in about the right place. Alright, getting a nice climb. Just over the road going down into Borrego. 8,500 feet, I already climbed about 8 knots or 800 feet so far at an average of 10. Let's get up to that cloud base. Well, this is nice. All right, I turn pretty close to the border now, heading back north toward Warner Springs. Looks like my path back is still marked pretty well. So, home we go. Okay, about 22 miles from Warner Springs. 18 to 1 to get there. I expect to have some sink after I get off this line of clouds. So it's almost final glide. And I'm almost out of battery, too. Thanks for coming with me. All right, well, that was a great flight. 304 nautical miles, 5 hours and 49 minutes. All the way up to Crystal, down to the border and back. My best flight so far, certainly the farthest I've gone in one flight, and um, I'm pretty happy with that. So thanks for coming along with me, and uh, stay tuned for more soaring adventures.